preparing a schedule of cost of goods manufacturing. So given the following selected account balances of Delray manufacturing, we've got sales and raw materials and work in process and finished goods and raw material purchases and direct labor and factory computer supplies, indirect labor, repairs of factory equipment, rent cost of factory building, advertising expense, general administrative expenses, raw materials, uh, inventory, 1231, 2015, <coughs> work in process, 1231, <coughs> 2015, excuse me, finished goods, 1231, 2015. Prepare its schedule of cost of goods manufactured for the year ended December 31st, 2015. Well, in this uh, schedule of the cost of goods manufacturing, we've got three sections. We've got direct material section, a labor, overhead section. So let's fill those in. Based on the information we have up above here in these accounts, you'll take the raw materials inventory December 31st, 2014, which is really the same thing as January the 1st, 2015. And from up here, it's $43,000. You're going to add material purchases of 168.6, which came from again up here. Uh, the two together will give you something called raw materials available for use of a total of 211,600. Then you're going to subtract off the raw materials inventory December 31st of 2015, which is the end of this year, which is this number right here, 45.6. And you're going to get the direct materials used of $166,000. Then we're going to add direct labor, which is $248,000. So that'll come up from here, $248,000. And now we're going to add the overhead pieces. And the overhead is anything that's going on inside the factory that's not direct material and not direct labor. Let me repeat that. Overhead is anything going on inside the factory that is not direct material or direct labor. So from this list, and in order from the top to the bottom, I and mean, you'll have to do this the way the computer, whether Connect wants you to do it, from the top to the bottom, uh, we have uh, the following overhead accounts. Factory computer supplies used, $21,000. That came from right there. Then we've got indirect labor, $52,000. That came from here. Then we have repairs of factory equipment, $52,500, which is right here. 52,000, excuse me, 5250 dollars. Then we have rent cost of factory building, $59,000, and that is all of the overhead items. You add them all up, and you get total factory overhead of 137,250. Now, when you add the direct materials used, plus the direct labor, plus the total factory overhead cost, you get something called total manufacturing costs, and that's uh, going to be $551,250. Then you're going to add the work in process inventory December 31st, 2014, uh, which would be $57,000, which came from up here, right? $57,000. And we're doing this because it, we are assuming that the very first thing you did on the beginning of 2015 Remember, this is for a whole year. This is for one whole year. Uh, the very first thing that happened on January the 1st of 2015 is you finished up the work in process that you had as of the end of last year. So that's why this is added in here and why it's assuming that you are, you have finished those things. That's the first thing you do is finish those things before you started the new things that uh, you were making in 2015. Then the total here is going to be a total cost of goods process, and then we're going to subtract off the ending inventory, uh, which is going to be at 2000, uh, December 31st, 2015, of 393 to get our cost of goods manufactured of 568950